to RVing with the Maracas. I'm Rhonda, and today we wanted to share with you the inside of our Thor 27.7 Axis RV. We've owned it for about three months. We've taken, we spent 19 nights away camping and we've gone to 11 different places. So we're very excited to share with you the inside. Right inside the door of the Thor Axis, the steps are inside, and we have this nice utility cabinet where we keep a lot of our cleaning supplies. Below the utility cabinet is um, the, there's two heater vents. There's also the stabilizer control panel, the main power, the awning light, and the step light is all down. As you come into the Thor Axis to the left, we have more control panels here. Um, we have the control panel up here. There you can check the level of the tanks, a couple of the slide extending, the thermostat is here, light switch, and a place where we can hang our keys. Also has a very nice um, more cold refrigerator. The, refri the freezer is kind of nice. And the bottom, um, I'm actually able to get um, at least four or five days worth of food in here. Okay, we have a nice kitchen area here in the door axis. We have this nice um, ex extension for the counters, which is very nice. The only ne negative of this is it does interfere with opening the refrigerator, so you have to make sure you um, close it when you get back in the refrigerator. Um, we have um, a nice cabinet up here where we have our dishes and our coffee maker. It has two shelves. Paper towel rack, we added this. The Thor Axis has uh, nice fixtures um, in the um, kitchen area. It has a nice deep sink. Down below, we have the kitchen area where we have um, different um, clean cleaners and that kind of thing. This is an area where you cannot put a lot of things when the slide is in because you cannot get to these four cabinets and under the sink when the slide is inside. We have, we use this as our pantry area. Our stove top, there's two burners that lights with a match, works very well. More counter space. Um, we have a, a microwave and a convection oven together, which works really well. I do have to keep the instructions for the convection oven close by. Um, I've used it a couple times, but I'm not quite um, there yet with learning how to operate it. We have this nice um, cabinet below where we have our pots and pans and the dish drainer. And this is nice because it's big and you can get to it um, when the slide is pulled in. Okay, so we've moved into the dining room area. We really liked the Thorax, just the 27.7 with this little bit of extra space. It has the dining area. This folds out into a bed if you have visitors. And Joe uses this a lot of time to hook up his computer and his workspace, that kind of thing. Has this very nice TV here. Um, we did buy this handy dandy little um, gadget that shows us the temperature in the RV and the humidity level, which is something that's very important because of the, the damage the humidity can do in Florida. Next, I wanted to point out, we have this really nice drawer down here in the kitchen area. Um, we use it, this is one you can get to when you're traveling, when the slide is in. And we have actually stored our level in there because this is something we need right when we pull into a space, a camping space, to make sure things are level. So we're crossing over into the living room area. Before we do that, we have a nice fan up at the top here that provides a lot of ventilation for the unit. We have this nice couch. This is one of the things that really sold us on the 27.7. It's very nice, very comfortable to lay on. Above it are three cabinets, more storage. These are very nice um, cabinets that close securely. We haven't had any trouble with anything falling out. So now we're moving into the hallway. We have this nice cabinet here. Um, there's three shelves in here. We use this for storage for different things. There are two cabinets below. This is Joe's side of the um, hallway. He has his clothes and different things to bring along. Okay, this is the other side of the hallway, um, another closet. has a nice mirror on the outside. We use this to store our things that we thought we would store on the outside. Um, the, one of the 
cons of the Thor Axis 27.7 is there really is not a lot of outside storage space for bigger things. So we've chosen to use this cabinet for our chairs, our table, our fan, things that we go outside under the awning. And it works really well. Um, it's a nice um, tall closet. has a place up there that you could hang clothes, but um, we don't really use it for that. And down below, this is my side. So these are my drawers for my clothes and those kind of things. So now we're back in the bedroom area. And this is, there's another closet in here where we um, hang our clothes. We have our night uh, bug light in here. It also has a cabinet below that we use for miscellaneous things. The negative about this is you really can't get to this cabinet when the slide is pulled in. So that is something we have to consider with what we put in here. Hi, okay, we're back in the bedroom area, and the bedroom has some nice cabinets above the bed. Um, they're very deep, but they're not, but they're kind of short. So we actually keep our sleeping bags and um, different blankets and stuff in here. These are very nice, but you can't get to these when this slide is in. So you have to remember that to not put anything in there you're going to need when you're traveling. Um, there's two of them side by side. Uh, the bedroom areas, that's a queen size bed. There are nice lights under um, the bed here for reading at night. It has two nice cubbies on each side of the bed um, for different things. And you can see the windows. Um, it has uh, electrical outlets for each side and also um, USB ports over here. Hi, okay, we're in the bathroom area now. Um, it has a nice size bathroom, the Thor 27.7. One of the first things we liked about it was um, the shower. Um, it has a nice square shower. There's plenty of room in here for us to um, take nice showers. We did change out the um, shower head. It got a one that provides us with more pressure, which is nice. It does have the automatic hot water, so you're able to use that in the shower. Cabinet space up here. We have our towels and different kind of things up here. A nice fan that provides good ventilation in the bathroom. The sink area. I really like the um, faucets. I those they did a, a nice job on those. Um, a little more storage area here in the bathroom. We've actually added some hooks. The towel rack came. There's more storage under the sink here for different things. Toilet, you know, the basics. So now we're in the cab area of the Thor Axis. And um, this is, um, I, actually I'm five foot six, so I'm actually able to reach the pedals and everything really nicely. Um, the steering column has the um, cruise control on and off. Um, it actually rides and drives pretty well. So really, the one thing we really liked about this particular RV was the nice big window here up front. Um, and we like just the way it looks on the outside. Um, inside here has a big dash area. We have um, the camera system here, the radio. It works pretty good. Backup camera. Also has cameras on each of the mirrors when you're changing lanes. You can see behind you. Um, all the control panels here in the heat. And so now I'm on the passenger side, and this is a nice um, computer desk that it has. We have not used this a whole lot, but it is really cool if we ever did use it. Um, one of the comments that we've seen in a lot of the YouTube videos is people um, talk about um, the seats in the Thor being a little high, and I do find that when I'm riding as the passenger. So what I've done is there's a, a pillow that came with the Thor. I call it the mystery pillow. I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be for. So actually, I just put it down here underneath my feet, and it works really well. And then we put it this little um, cubby thing here. One of the things we found was there really is no place to put things up here easily. So we put the little cubby here for our little books. It has a couple of those. Okay, one of the things in the cab area we did when we first started driving the Thor Axis, we, it really was hot up in the front area, so we added these curtains that really help keep the air conditioning in the cab area. That has worked well for us. And now I'm gonna actually pull down the um, twin bed that's up above the cab area, if you can see. So 
So one of the things to remember before you pull the bed down is these seats have to be tilted back. Um, it's a real problem if they're not because the bed won't come all the way down and it can damage the seats. Um, I have learned the hard way um, that it's, uh, the seats are really important to have them in the right location. Also, when this slide comes in, these seats have to be pushed up because they get caught on the slide, which I did a couple weeks ago, and that was a little frightening. So in summary, we're really glad we went with the 27.7 because of the extra space. We've actually pulled the slide in in the bedroom here, so you can see you really can't get to these cabinets that I was talking about. We also just learned something when we pulled the slide in. It's been raining here, and on the side of the slide that's right through here, it is very wet. And so that is something we have to take into consideration before we bring in the slides. Oh, yes, and with the slide in, the bedroom slide in, you can easily get into the bathroom. There's no problem with that, which is great for when you're traveling. So we've actually pulled in the slide for the kitchen. We have really enjoyed this, uh, doing this video today. If you like it, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to RVing with the Maracas.